What's good everybody, Nate the Producer Beast. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be making a modern R&B beat. This one's gonna be really versatile. I can kind of hear a few artists on this. I'm kind of hearing Jaquez or Jaquez, um, Summer Walker, Bryson Tiller. Question of the day for you guys. How long have you been making beats? Uh, I'll go ahead and go first. I've been making beats since 2008, summer of 08. That's when I graduated high school, kind of dated myself there. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below how long you've been making beats. If you haven't started, what are you waiting for? Uh, shout out to y'all that's been showing all the support. Let's get to work. I like that. That was dope. So let's go ahead and drag that in. All right. So let's go ahead and get this over to something that's going to sound a little bit nicer. That's not bad. So let's go ahead and put that on the first mixer track. We're going to go ahead and do some work. First thing I want to do is just cut out these lows real quick. And I want to go ahead and make it wide. Actually, before I make it wide, I want to go ahead and bring in some Bahala on that. Get some nice uh, reverb. That's not bad. So let's go ahead and bring in wider so we can put it in a different pocket. dope let's bring in expand a really inexpensive vst and let's see what we can do with this one we'll go just copy and paste it in let's get in the poly sense Ugh. this is dope let's get in there and let's go uh, control up on that let's take off these top notes Let's go ahead and put that on the second mixer track and then we will just do some work real quick. Parametric, you already know what we're gonna do. And then let's go ahead and put it in a different pocket. And let's get back in the parametric and I actually wanna go 4018 because uh, I wanna take off some of the highs off of the top as well. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in pancakes so we can get some nice panning there. That sounds beautiful so far. So let's go ahead and clone expand and let's see if we can find another polysynth that would just be crazy. counter melody I think that'll be hard So let's go ahead and add some effects to that. We're gonna put that on the third mixer track. Um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and cut out the lows real quick. I wanna go ahead and bring in a finisher on this. Let's 
I like that counter melody. I want to go ahead and clone that and expand here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it in. Let's go to Woodwinds. All right, so we're gonna have to fix this stuff here. We'll just pull it back a little bit. All right, so we're gonna put that on a fourth, fourth mixer track and then we're gonna just add some effects to it. So let's go ahead and bring in Supermassive on this. Now I'm mad at that. Very good, and then I'm also going to go ahead and get Pancake up in here. We need to change the octave, it's a little bit too happy. All right, let's go ahead and bring in Arcade. All right, so this counter melody, we need to make some changes. I'm not really feeling it. All right, man. I think from this point, we're ready, we're ready to go ahead and bring some drums. So we're just gonna go and fill in each two steps to get us started. Yeah, let's go ahead and clone that. And I'm gonna go back to the Unknown Library, man. They have some really, really good hi-hat midis that I've been enjoying lately. I'm just gonna co copy and paste it. So octave has to come down just based on how the percussion is going. So let's go and change it. Uh, we'll shift down twice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for these guys too. And then um, I think I wanna just add a little bit more to my melody. I wanna go ahead and bring in some, um, I wanna bring in an ARP. Um, let me go ahead and adjust the arcade um, octave too. Go see how this one sound. Yeah. Ugh. Put it on its own and do some different editing to this one. This in here, we'll go parametric real quick. Presets, we'll cut out these lows. Let's go 4018 because there's some highs I want to cut out. Going to bring a wider, put it in a different pocket. Go 
ahead and clone Omni and I want to go ahead and bring in a nice ARP just so it can just give us some ah. I like this one so I'm going to go ahead and put that I think it's already on its own mixer track I'm going to just go ahead and bring in halftime so I can give it a different bounce we're almost there let's go ahead and change that though All right, this is very unique. Um, so these drums are gonna be very critical, man. That's hard, that's not bad. We might switch it up a little bit later, but I really like how that's going. Let's get us some 808s and that might drive us to make some other arrangements here. Copy the pattern in and paste it in and see what we can get. The only thing we need to do is add a alternate uh, drum and 808 pattern. So we're just gonna clone the kick, clone the 808, and let's go ahead and make a alternate. I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and get back in the arcade real quick and bring in some kind of uh, loop, like a drum loop, so that way we can create a nice breakdown. Let's go ahead and bring in finisher on that. I need a little bit more reverb on it. I just want it to really just be nice and warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in uh, some Valhalla on this. Let's find something better. Ugh. some reverb to that so let's go ahead and just a uh, simple fruity reverb and then we're just gonna get in here and just change the octave a little bit So let's go ahead and talk about this arrangement. Straight away, I, I just went right into a verse. As you can see here, I left some of the some of the keys here, and then I went straight into the a uh, little bit of the Omni, and then we have some of the ARPs coming in with Expand, and then from there, it's just straight verse. Brought in some of the vocal chops from Arcade, uh, kind of teased it. That's why I, I, I did a lot of teasing in this beat. From there, um, I went ahead and had the hi-hats kind of come in a little bit quick, and then again, I did some more teasing down here towards the end of the verse. So as you can see here, I brought in the 808 and the kick a little bit and then dropped the 808 and dropped the kick halfway and then went in with a little bit of the snares, a little bit of the hi-hats and full vocal chops into the hook. And the hook, I just went all in. I didn't hold back anything. And then from there, um, it kind of just died down a little bit and we did a quick switch up, dropped out the main melody and then we have a little bit of expand there, kind of tease again, hanging around. And then the hi-hats going, snares again. And then we have that drum switch up. That alternate drum that we did earlier in the beat came in a little bit just to give it a little bit more bounce. Teasing there with the alternate percussions towards the second half of the second verse. And then from there, just dropped off nicely and went into our uh, second hook. The outro, just copy the intro, just paste it over. And now I have my outro and this beat is done. So let's go ahead and listen to the beat. 